All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video is just going to show you how to create subpages within your student wiki portfolio. Just like everything else we show, you'll be able to find a text overview of everything, as well as, of course, a copy of this YouTube video in the helpful hints area on our main portfolio page. So when you create a page within a wiki, what's important to know is that every page that is on any wiki is actually all kept in the same folder. So every page that I've got here, for instance, a po uh, one that I have on poetry, that page actually lives in the same folder as this page itself. So when I'm looking at things here, I have my poetry pages, I have peer editing, I even have a page called introduction. And what's really important is that if you don't want to link to one of these pages, when you create something, you need to make sure you give it a unique name. So with that having been said, to create a subpage in a wiki, you use the double square brackets to start. Then you can call it by your last name, underscore, first name, and then I recommend you call it by the name of the assignment, or just a, a unique name that you think of in terms of, let's say I'm going to do an introduction to poetry. Then I use a line. Now that line you'll find above the enter key where the slash is. You have to do shift to get that line, and then I might call this page introduction to poetry and then I end with the double brackets. Now what this is going to do is that everything to the left of that line will be the name of the file and everything to the right of the line will be what appears on screen. And I'm going to show you what happens if we do the opposite. If we just do introduction instead of giving it a unique name. When I click OK now to go out of edit mode I have the line which will show me of course that it's going to create a Findlay Scott introduction and that's the name of the file that will be created but in this one where I just call it introduction instead of creating a new page all it's doing is linking to an existing page in the same folder <clears throat> so that's why it's really important in this case to give it the unique name and now I have my own page that I can work with likewise though if you want to link to a page that already exists it's easy enough to just put it again in the double brackets and then you can link to it on your own. So that's what you need to do if you want to create a unique sub page.